G'day YouTube. I thought I'd do a bit of a review today, but um, I've had a few issues. I was going to do a review of Fedora 15, and um, unfortunately, I would, because of the recorder, and I ran it as a live system user, and I mean, that's forgivable enough, I suppose, for the distro that I had recording issues. But fundamentally, in the end, it sort of removed my enjoyability when I was getting 15 frames per second. There's even a website which I'll I'll show you in a minute, um, which talks about this. But anyway, with any further ado, let's get on with it. Uh, essentially, this is the Fedora desktop. You see, it's got a nice little nice little um, wallpaper there. You just saw the shell come up there, yeah. Got the shell here. We can go through the applications. Got Firefox. We've got uh, Evolution there. We've got uh, Rhythmbox coming up next. Yep. Just there. You can see how really slow it is uh, using that desktop recorder. We've got Shotwell. We've got Nautilus, of course, and uh, underneath that, we've also got the installer. Okay, this is going to be a really short video because I, I found the experience really not that pleasant. It's not that GNOME 3 is unpleasant, I'll in fact do a video about that. You can see here we've got the add and remove software. I, I mean, I could have opened this up, but it was just so goddamn dog slow uh, <laughs> that I, I just couldn't really do much. Anyway, you can see the icons are really beautified under GNOME 3, and they're really looking quite pretty. And of course, Fedora, they do a little bit of effort in making sure their, their icons are very nice. So, we just move through the different uh, accessories. We we're looking at all the applications from before. I'm just going through showing you the order in which it does things. It's a little bit different than the menuing system. The menuing system is vastly different, I guess, uh, to the uh, previous way we were doing it with the um, the panel on top. We used to have the panel on top here, of course, and uh, over here. I'm just sort of talking through this video that I recorded earlier. And anyway. I, I know it might be a bit annoying for some users, but um, I might as well get it up there anyway. Yeah, go through the Office applications. Unfortunately, I didn't have Open Office installed at the time because uh, it's a live CD. That didn't include that. Got some other useful stuff here. Fire for, for, uh, firewall Manager there. Uh, network connections, remote desktop. You can muck around with that. Update your software. Manage users and groups. Date time. All that sort of stuff there. So, yeah, it's a nice shell, I guess, but uh, created difficulties with recording. I couldn't get FFmpeg uh, on enough Fedora either. Um, audio, all the typical name stuff we're expecting here, the totem there. Yeah, so, go through system tools, it's all fair enough, isn't it? Yep, Orca. So anyway, as you can see, it really is slow, isn't it? So you see that mouse jittering, there's that search bar there, you just type in whatever you're looking for in there, and whether it's got it in there, it'll come up. There's also a Google and Wikipedia search. You can see down here, Wikipedia and Google search for whatever you've done. Anyway, I've decided anyway because of the quality of this video is so well, poor in my opinion. I'll um, do one on Arch Linux with GNOME 3 uh, installed. Probably just to focus more on the GNOME 3 side of things. But um, of course, uh, this version of Fedora was meant to showcase GNOME 3. And in all fairness, as I said, I, sh I probably shouldn't have run it as a as a live system user. But I see this too. This is where I try and search for FFmpeg. Um, it, was, it was getting so slow. I mean. Yes, you can see my internet connection is not as slow as some of you guys will have. But that's not really the point. There were so many repositories to go through, and it was the machine was actually slow in and of itself. That uh, yeah, it just didn't become. It was just it became unviable to to continue. Um, you know, doing this, so I just decided to shut it down. Um, by the way, this wallpaper is the same as pretty much the same as the default GNOME 3 one, except it's had some nice beautification added here, this little bird theme there. Of course you know that Fedora 15 is lo version Lovelock. Uh, at the moment they have these uh, this lovely naming system where the next name is meant to relate to the in some way to the previous name. I try and run Firefox here. By the way, it, it, GNOME 3 actually has brilliant workflow. What I'm doing here doesn't really give it justi uh, justice. You can press Control Alt up and down and scroll through your different workspaces. And a workspace is added each time you open a new uh, program on um, the previous workspace. 
So I check out the version of Firefox, happens to be a uh, version of Firefox 4 there, 4.0.1. You can tell um, due to this menuing, menuing that I do up here. And of course, uh, by the way, you can't, you can't, there's no minimize or anything on this little window here, so I had to press Alt F4 to get rid of it. Some of you might have had a little annoyance with that one. So view toolbars, eh. So yeah, um, I'm just looking here at that uh, menu bar and getting rid of that uh, menu bar as, as it normally is. Just to so show what it looks like, a little bit like what it looks like on Windows, what some of you might be used to. So we continue on, yep, and um, that's what I've done there at the Fedora page. Nice. Anyway, just shut down uh, Firefox. You can try and open it like that. As I said before, you can use that Windows key or the um, Super key. Uh, I might have not said that before. Anyway, you can use the Windows key or the su as it's otherwise known as the Super key to open the um, that menu, that shell, so to speak. And I uh, just want to show you here the uh, wireless. Um, it's not using NM Applet anymore, it's using its own. You can see here the wireless connection that I've, I've connected to. You can go into network settings, but I'm not going to do that here. So anyway, that's pretty much um, Fedora. There's the calendar there. Fedora 15 calendar, or rather GNOME 3 calendar. It's pretty much Fedora. I mean, you know, I didn't really get a good chance to test it, and the absence of... Um, you know, good compositing under um, virtualization, you know, virtual box, which is about the best you can get. I think it um, it's not so good. Uh, would have no doubt presented more problems than than what this did. Anyway, guys, um, it's pretty much um, my feelings on this were a massive disappointment. But I still had to put up something for you guys, and um, what I will be doing is, as I said, uh, doing installing. GNOME 3 under Arch, which is a, it's a pinch easy. It has been pretty much since the uh, the start of uh, GNOME 3. And uh, that way you can guys can get a little bit of an alternative perspective, perhaps, on it. Um, then again, of course, it's not going to be a default install such as uh, Fedora. This is going to be on a KDE machine, the one that you see right now, this beautiful machine here. So, um, yeah. Uh, put your thoughts, comments, whatever. I know it hasn't been a great production, um, but... Uh, them's the brakes. I didn't see myself improving it in the absence of FF, FFmpeg. Oh, yeah, sure, I could have mounted the system and uh, made the services available, you know, the devices available to a uh, true root environment and, and all that sort of stuff. I could have done that, but uh, too much messing around. Um, so, for what it's worth, uh, take a look for yourself. Download the ISO. It's easy to do it. Go to the website, uh, Fedora's website, or go to your local mirror if your ISP provides one or another another mirror. There's the AAR net, which should uh, provide that as well. Anyway, guys, uh, thoughts and comments down below, and I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a brief introduction to Fedora and GNOME 3, and uh, next time we'll bring you, hopefully, a much better product. Anyway, catch you later, YouTubers.